Hey guys, so I want to bring you today a quick little video about this uh, Linksys Wi-Fi range extender I just picked up. I just picked this thing up to try to help out my Wi-Fi in my house a little bit. Down in the basement I get pretty bad signal um, issues, so um, you know, just wanted to bring this and sh get a install done, little vlog style video here and see how you like that as well. So just to get into this, this is the model RE6500 by Linksys. This is the AC1200 Max Wi-Fi range extender. Um, so if we look around here on the side, this is a um, you know basically like a Wi-Fi router, but it has Ethernet ports on it, so you can hook into a uh, desktop or something else such as a game console or anything else you're having problems with with Wi-Fi, get those things off Wi-Fi and then uh, plug them directly in. Also, here you can see this has the Spot Finder technology, uh, has a streaming music um, feature as well. This you can plug your speakers in through an aux cable into the extender and that uh, simply allows you to send music wirelessly um, through your phone and everything so this does uh let's see this is you know gigabit ports it does the five um five gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz bands wi-fi audio as i mentioned cross band um basically work with any router so let's get into the box and open this thing up So, just picked this up today down at Best Buy. Um, really needing to uh, get my Wi-Fi working a little bit better than it has been around the house. So, this uh, really should help. And I'm gonna set it just here on my desk so I can plug my um, laptop into it, hold signal and everything a little bit better. Um, but I'll plug it directly into the ethernet port. My Wi-Fi's upstairs, they have Google Fiber and uh, Google Fiber is very good, but their default routers that come with the service um, just doesn't seem like it holds up very well. I don't know if Google wants to chime in there on that, but <clears throat> I've spoken with a lot of other people that have the service as well, and uh, they kind of say the same thing. So oh, we'll just go with their word. So here guys, after you see I've plugged this thing in, you can see the little white light here is flashing for us. So that just means it's setting up and getting ready to uh, be configured. So <clears throat> we will wait just a few minutes for that to turn white as it did right now. So once that is completely white here, you can see maybe a little bit better when I tilt it up, but that is ready to go. So what you do then is you bring up the your wireless settings for your computer or if you have a phone or something. I here have my Kindle that I can use, um, my laptop. I just have plugged in through the hard line so as you can see here, we've got the Linksys Extender Setup E11. That is the correct um, Wi-Fi address we need to connect to. The uh, and that is just default what this router or what this Wi-Fi extender um, sends out as a SSID. So we click on that SSID, and then you will see that um, it's obtaining an IP and we're getting that connected up. 
So guys, okay, once we get into, um, once we're connected, we get into the web address extender.linksys.com and that will have us um, connect into this web page and get started. So we can just click start, read and sign your life away and agree to that mercilessly. And then I'm going to choose um, my network here for my 5 gigahertz. And then this tells us if we are positioned in a good spot for this to work. So um, if you're too close, it'll tell you. If you're a little too far away from your current Wi-Fi router, it will tell you as well. So this is really good for helping you understand where to place this extender to give you the optimum best speeds for this thing. Obviously, if you're too close, there's no reason to have one of these. And if you're too far away, it's not going to be able to see that other network very well and hold a good, strong connection. So you kind of have to put it somewhere in between um, you, know, you and that other network if that other network is a little too far away. Um, in my case, it's right at my desk downstairs in my office, but um, it... In some cases, you may have to put it in a spot that's a little further away from you, but it's somewhere in the middle of between you and the next and your uh, your Wi-Fi hotspot. So that you can go ahead and enter in our password. I'm not going to let you see that. And once you enter in that password, it's going to tell you it's connecting to the network. Give it a second. Now it's going to ask you for your 2.4 gigahertz network. So this does support 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz um, to give you both um, options for support in your different devices that you might have out there. And then once you do that, you get to connecting to the network again. And you'll see it takes a little bit of time here, but once it gets through it, um, it will tell you here is your extended wireless network and so it recommends that you put a separate network name other than your primary network you could use your the same name as your primary network but I, I would kind of advise against that and strictly because then you can control exactly which network you're connecting to um, you can make sure that your computers downstairs only connect um, to your uh, extender or your devices upstairs only connect to your um, hotspot upstairs or your router upstairs. If you have an, you know, more than one of these extenders, it really helps you segregate those devices per extender that way. So click next. And then it's going to have you set up an admin password for this as well. So this is where you can get into this remotely from your phone or any other web device. And you add in that password for admin control then. Um, here, I don't know if you just saw that, but this went red blinking. And that was just basically saving everything, rebooting, and then getting set up. Once it goes back to this white, then you're good to go and you should be able to connect. So as you can see here, I am hardwired in through the back into my laptop. My laptop uses that hard line instead of the uh, wireless network to connect. That way I can ensure that I uh, don't drop any connection. I'm pretty solid with that. And I can share that connection, this wireless connection with multiple devices, especially don't get any sort of interference between your different devices. That is kind of problematic because sometimes with modern days here, we have so many connected devices through Wi-Fi and even those devices can compete with each other for that airspace and that limited airspace. So 
having things hardwired where you can definitely will help you keep your airspace clean and ensure you don't have too much interference. So I have mine hooked up and as we can see here, if we pan up, we can see our God of War, but um, we can look here and see that we're connected to the Wi-Fi extender and uh, we can browse, you know, we can browse the internet. So good old google.com, everything's good. So again, just want to show you a little bit of a how-to on how you can set up your wireless network in your home and extend that. If you're having problems in weak areas of your home, you can get yourself one of these for about $90 with tax um, today, but uh, that's what I picked this up for. Picked it up at Best Buy, so price may vary, obviously. There are many other different brands of these as well, but I really like the Linksys brand. Um, they used to be part of the Cisco, um, you know, company and everything. Cisco is a really good brand, but even before then, I have always liked Linksys. So, hope you guys like this. Check out more about this down in the description below. But if you like this video, if you want to see more how-tos and things like that, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, give it a thumbs down if this wasn't really that helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. And please subscribe to keep up to with the latest content that I have coming up in the future. We've got some more PC builds coming up here. Or some new PC builds in the, in the near future, hopefully. And um, check out some of my other videos. Especially my video about this ViewSonic monitor here in the background. Um, really great monitor for uh, you gamers out there. 144 megahertz full HD. This is in a 4K, but for a good gaming monitor on a budget, go check that out. Also put the link to that down in the description down below as well. So otherwise, hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you on the next video.